Here we go, the highlight of the Hollywood Park meet. 11 juveniles, a mile and a 16th on cushion track in the $750,000 cash call futurity. We're off to the races. Here comes the winner of the Cash Call Futurity, moving his record to a perfect three for three, shipping in from New York for Todd Pletcher, Javier Castellano in the irons. It's violence. Today's 10th race offers $1 super high five way drink. Race 10 will be run at six and one half per loss. Scratch. Establish some position at the beginning of the first turn and uh, worked out really well. And Javier was able to get a real good trip, save some ground on both turns. Of course, a really good performance. Well, I mean, we've, we've uh, been pretty fortunate. Our two year olds have been, been great all, all year. And uh, so, anytime you're blessed with some good two year olds, and always look forward to the spring. But, the exciting thing about you know, a horse like this is pedigree wise suggests that uh, the further they go, the stronger they get. And so uh, hopefully there's more to come. You said he was leggy. Did you expect him to come around as fast as he has? No, I wasn't sure. I mean, we kind of felt like you know, this summer that he was the kind that we would start off at you know at least six furlongs and ended up starting him seven furlongs his first out. And I thought he ran a very, very determined race that day, a very courageous race for a first time starter. And uh, so regroup, gave him plenty of time after that, and like I said, once we decided that we weren't going to push for the Breeders' Cup, then uh, after the Nashua, didn't want to run him back in 20 days, so sort of decided if we were going to run once more this year that this, this race made the most sense from a spacing standpoint. And now I can go back to Florida and get a little freshening and hopefully get a couple of preps in the spring. Talk to his temperament. He didn't raise a hair standing here in the winter circle for the picture for a good two, that, three that, minutes. That, that's been him, and that was you know another factor that went into the equation as far as deciding to ship out here. He uh, has been the kind of horse that he's got such a great disposition, good mind that we didn't feel like you know shipping from from east to west and to a new place would bother him at all. And it didn't. I mean, he never turned a hair at any stage. So are you target, targeting the Holy Bull at Gulfstream now? No, no, he won't start in the Holy Bull. He'll probably start sometime at the end of February, beginning of March. If things were to go perfectly, we'd probably think about a two prep, two preps before the Derby. Curious about the name. We better talk to one of those guys. He uh, <laughs> came to me with the name. Uh, <laughs> ten points uh, toward the Derby. Should it be more for winning a race in this? Uh, I mean, I think it's something they got to look at, and you know, I mean, I think some of these races are a little more high quality than, than some of the other ones. And ten points. And I said from the very beginning, even before we won the Breeders' Cup Juvenile, that. I thought that the, you know, the juvenile being only 10 points is sort of ridiculous, but mm -hmm. um, it's a new system. We're all getting used to it and see how it all shakes out. How's Shling Hey Bobby doing? Where is he being pointed towards? He's doing well. He's pointing for the Holy Bull. Okay, we both, we get the agreement. You got to get position the first time. I think it was the key to win the race. And he broke it slow, the first step. I had to use a little bit to get my position. Right. I think it was the key to win the race. 
Um, and after that, the way he de developed the race, the way he unfolded, he worked out great for me. A couple of horses, who could do a speed, I was right behind the speed, and just a way for my best moment. Turn it for home, I used to win him. Made the la the last move, I, you know, especially two year old, you know, go to town. First time a horse go to town. Right. The lie it was my concern. I mean, a lot of couple of things could, could go wrong, but he improved. My horse is nice horse, very much sure. He handled so well. He passed all the tests. Right. I think he, I'm looking forward to big time. And it looked like he took the dirt all right. Where you, I did. Where you sit, sat him. Sat right? on the back side. He yeah. got a lot of dirt in the face. He handled so well. He never bothered. On the phone, I mean, when I asked him to find the spot, he, he took off, he did it the right way. Very good.